And we're back to weather here where it's really hot for now and it's going to stay pretty hot for most of the forecast. Cool down is coming though. Let's take a look at the stats here. Day 42 in the triple digits. We average a little over 30 a year, so above average year already for heat. We've got another probably month and a half before those triple digits start to really calm down for us. 15 in a row in July, 114 our hottest day. Given that this heat wave doesn't seem quite as bad, but it's still very hot out there just because it was hotter earlier in the year doesn't mean you should take this heat any less seriously. Stay cool, stay hydrated, take it easy outside. If you have to be out there, it's still a dangerous level of heat, even though it's nothing compared to what we had earlier in the year. As far as temperatures for the next 24 hours, this heat wave is not slowing down at all. Barely getting into the 70s overnight here in Bakersfield. 79 are overnight low. The AC does not get much of a break overnight with most of us staying in the 70s and then just another extremely hot day for tomorrow. Over 110 in many of our desert communities, well over 100 in the KRV, and I think we're going to be once again over 105 here in Bakersfield. Excessive heat warning remains in effect for tomorrow. Then we start to see a little change from there. Not a big change, but a little change. By tomorrow afternoon, the winds are picking up. Some gusts up to about 20 miles per hour here in the valley, almost as high as uh, 40 miles per hour over in our mountain and desert areas. That's the first little push of some slightly cooler air, but the temperatures are going to really start to drop off as we head into next week, which we'll see here as we get into your extended forecast. So tomorrow, the hottest day of the seven day with a high of 107 degrees. I expect we're going to hit 100 probably uh, by the early afternoon, likely around one o'clock and stay there through sunset. 104 Thursday. So again, a little step down there. Not much, but a little step down. And then as we head into next week, that's when the cooler weather actually starts to work in. By the time we were to early next week, temperatures back to around normal. And there are a lot of signs that show that we could actually be below normal by the time we get to the middle of next week, mid to maybe even lower 90s. So hopefully we still see those signs by the time we actually get to next week. Lake Isabella by the end of the forecast, a little bit more comfortable. Mid 90s for Monday and Tuesday to Hatchby, Fraser Park, low to even mid 80s. So there is some signs of relief from the heat by the end of the forecast. Still have to get through several more days, though, of very hot weather here in Kern County.